Before I explain what is residential property management, I'm going to start with who usually requires this service. We typically see two main categories of clients. First category, we call the accidental investors. The most common situation we see is a property owner who just got a job opportunity out of town and does not want to sell their property, but wants the peace of mind that the real estate asset, which was once home, is now in good hands and well taken care of. This first category of clients comprises a small portion of our portfolio. Second category, which is the lion's share of our clients, includes professionals and retirees, multi-generational wealthy families, corporate executives, business owners and entrepreneurs, international real estate investors. Typically, this second category of clients either already has multiple properties or looking to build a portfolio of real estate assets over time and want a trusted strategic advisor and partner to help with day-to-day -day management so that they can focus on what is more important to them. Now that you know who usually requires residential property management, let's talk about what is covered by the service. Once a property is tenanted or rented, this is when day-to-day -day property management kicks in. This includes yearly or seasonal inspections and proactive maintenance, emergency repairs and ongoing maintenance, tax remittance on income generated for international investors, rent collection and management of monies to include condo fees, utilities, or any other expenses if necessary. Most importantly, nourish the relationship with the tenants. This soft part of the job returns folds back in the treatment of the property. Having said this, you also need to know when to be stern and direct in your dealings. At a high level, this is what residential property management covers.